everything moves up. All, so, all points, it's like a piston in a car, right? The engine goes up, it goes down. Perfect. Linear. Very linear behavior. I'll show you. Um, this is a regular driver, not, not Pro-G. Uh, that was 100 hertz. This is 600 hertz. It's again, it's pretty stable, very good. You start to see a little bit of rocking. As it, it's asymmetry, it starts to rock. At 2600 hertz, right in the voice band. Oh, bad things happen. Oh my gosh, terrible, let's fix it. <laughs> but what happens when you go to 10,000 hertz? Oof. It's horrible, right? Um, there's improvements to be made, I guess is a different way to say it. And at 19,000 hertz, Mm, there's not much output, and you can see, right? All of the positive excursion is subtracting from the negative, right? So they're, they're all canceling, right? So you get a big notch. Now we understand the why, right? So we get the motor optimized, the magnet structure, the coil, the, and now we can optimize the, the diaphragm, the part that touches the air. On the Pro, on the pro G driver, 100 hertz, 100 hertz same. Piston, very normal, perfect. 600 hertz, piston, fine, perfect, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. But at 2600 hertz, uh, it's much smoother response, right? And so you can see that, smoother, the green, smoother response. Um, this provides you with cleaner audio, right? Less distortion, right? So you will translate this data and your experience will be more detailed, cleaner. Uh, I realize that uh, internet radio perhaps isn't the cleanest source, right? So, yeah, you'll start to, to hear things in your music, and that's the whole point. Make, increase your fidelity, right? And uh-oh, what happens if we go to 10,000 hertz? Well, it was really bad before, but it's, it's, it's much more controlled now. More, the, the resonances, the bending modes are more damped. They're smaller in amplitude. And even the 19 kilohertz, it's much, much more controlled, right? It's, it's uh, a good, good thing. Um, 